love of God, I'm telling you, he will put you back together like the demoniac. The Bible says after Jesus has finished with that demoniac, he was in his right senses. When the people came, they look at him and they say, wow, we recognize this man. But he doesn't look like he has been through what he has been through. Oh, friends, that you will embrace this love of God. Embrace this love of God. I don't know what you have gone through. Like Mary and Martha, you've been sobbing because of the things you lost. But now I want you to value what is left. And what is left is your faith in Jesus. Let that be what will lift you up. I don't know how much demonic oppression you have suffered. How much poverty you have suffered. How much pain you have suffered. But if you will rise tonight by the reason of this world and say it doesn't matter what I've gone through. Let the devil hold my past. I'm going forward. Today is your day of liberation. Today is your day of change. Today is your day of transformation. You will never be down another day of your life. It doesn't matter who left you. You have to remember who is with you. The Bible said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Look, let me tell you. Especially for some of you who are single. And, and, and you were married before. Now you look alive and look, it's like you are rigid. Now you, nobody wants to, to have anything to do with it. But that is how the devil wants you to feel. But if you will turn to the Lord, you will see that he will turn your ashes into beauty. He will give you the garment of praise instead of mourning. And he will cause you to dance again. He will cause you to love again. But until you throw off that garment of riches, that garment of disappointment, that garment of failure, that garment of no esteem, no value, tonight is your night of deliverance. I'm saying to you, the master wants to put you back again. The porter wants to put you back again. Arise in your soul. Arise in your spirit. Begin to celebrate and say like Mary, the master is calling me to the master I go like the prodigal son and say, in my father's house, there is abundance. You rather go to the place where you are valued than the place where you are tolerated and ignored. There's going to be a breakthrough in your spirit tonight. Those of you online, just begin to minister to the Lord. Just begin to say, Lord, I embrace you. I embrace your word. I'm coming to your word. I'm coming to your word. Whatever is broken, the broken pieces, I'm bringing it to the master tonight. All the rejection, bring it to Jesus. Lay it at the master's feet. All your disappointment, all your fear, fear of poverty, fear of lack. Whatever is broken in your life tonight, bring it to the Lord. Tonight, as you bring it, I want you to begin to see, say to yourself, nothing dies in God, nothing dies in me. The power will put me back again. Begin to say, the power will put me back again. It will put your destiny back. It will put your hope back. It will put your broken heart, your broken hands. It will put it back. Your broken body, it will put it back. Your broken broken destiny, he will put it back by the reason of the anointing. Because of the anointing, yokes have been broken of your life tonight. Because of the anointing, deliverance is taking place right now. Deliverance is taking place right now for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Under the authority of this word, under this atmosphere of the word of life, the poor is putting your back because he loved you, because he cares for you. I feel a wave of the love of God. I see my spirit. It's, it's like after a long drought, rain begins to fall. After a long, a long drought, rain begins to fall. I see in my spirit broken pieces of porter, broken pieces of vessels, but as the vessels were lying broken all over, nobody could tell which part or which part belongs to what. The wind begins to blow. And as the wind was blowing, it was putting the right parts together again. Tonight, God is putting somebody's destiny back. Somebody is putting, God is putting somebody's career back. Somebody, hey, yake, make, there is a putting back tonight because of the love of God. Nothing is broken. Nothing is missing. 
It is going to be for a testimony to the Lord. You are going to bounce back. You are going to bounce back. The Lord is putting you back tonight from broken hearts and broken dreams, from disaster. The Lord is putting you back together. The enemy is going to be shocked what God is going to bring out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, to you we give all the praise. Just begin to worship him now. Lord, all our lives we lay down at your feet. Let our lives be used for your glory. Be used for your glory, oh God. Lord, no matter what the enemy has done, let our lives, oh God, let there be a turn around. Begin to say it right now. Turn around. Be used for your glory. Turn around. Turn around. In your mind, turn around. In your body, turn around. In your family, turn around. In this church, turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ. We command a mighty turn around for this ministry. We command a mighty turn around for this child. The power of God is moving again. The spirit of God is moving through us. All across this land. We are taking over. We are changing destinies. We are changing marriages. We are bringing the healing power of God. No incurable disease. Before that God will serve. Nothing is unstoppable. Nothing can stop the power of God. We are taking over by the power of God. Because this is the power of love. Because he loved people. Because he died for people. He is going to get the glory. Lord in the name of Jesus. We declare because of the anointing. Through the love of Christ, yokes have been broken. Souls have been saved. Men and women, boys and girls, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, people of all class and color, we call you to faith. God's word said, you shall call a nation. You do not know. And nations who do not know you, they shall run unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call nations to come into the kingdom. Through our lives, through this mission, through this church, with signs and wonders. Lord, you said arise and shine. For your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And the Gentiles shall come. The kings of the earth. They shall see with the light of your rising. In the name of Jesus I declare. I am rising. Say it for yourself. I am rising. And since our church is rising. This ministry is rising. We are taking our rightful place. That the name of Jesus be glorified. That lives be changed. That souls be saved. That this generation will know that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are in our own Bible days. We serve a God of miracles. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. Don't be afraid of change. Change will bring something better. There is a better place for you. There's something better for you. There is something better for me. Lord, I welcome the power for change. Lord, I'm changing for the best. I'm changing for the better. I'm changing from glory to glory, from anointing to anointing, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. As I see in your word, I become. Oh, Spirit of the Lord, pour out your presence upon us. Spirit of the Lord, release your fullness upon us. Let there be revival, oh God, in the lives of every man and woman. Lord, that is part of this service that will hereafter receive it. Lord, every member of our family, every member of this church, my God, let this anointing extend to them. Wherever they are, can the man send you. Lord, everyone, oh God, that you are bringing us, oh God, to encounter. Lord, let this anointing touch their lives that they will be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 